Hello there. General Kenobi. I know. Building in Power World can be difficult and it can be frustrating. But by understanding just one easy fundamental building mechanic, you can turn little bridges like this into something like this. Wow. Or like this. Wow. Or if you're into it, something like this. If you watched my most recent video on the quote unquote hanging build that I just showed, I briefly went over this concept. And the gist of it was, how I explained it then, was that each foundation piece can support three pieces, including the wall, right? And while that's true, there is a much easier way to explain this. And that is by saying each foundation piece can support two building pieces from each side and one diagonally. And we can use the fact that this takes into account no vertical height, right? So I see a lot of people say that they can't get their bridges to connect, etc., because how they'll start it, at least how I, I see it, is they'll go, you know, they'll start with the foundation, a little wall, a stair, some roofs. Oh, you can't go any farther from here. Okay, so how do I do it from here? Because I can't build a stair. So what they'll try to do, they'll place a foundation. They'll try to line up a wall and some stairs, right? So it'll look something like this. They have their stairs. And then, you know, they'll have, they'll get it closer than this because they spend more time. There's a much easier way to do this. Would you like to explain? Is there no food in here or something? Like, what's going on? There is no food in here. But there's a much easier way to do this. To build these simple bridges. Build the foundation out with plus one on each side. Because that's going to be used to build the bridge. Or build the, the stairs. You have that. You can build your stairs. You can build a your roof the entire way down. And now I want you to visualize this. Which foundation pieces can I delete and this thing still be standing? If you said these three, you are correct. Because this Foundation is supporting this piece, which can be built out too. Honestly, you can delete one of these. The other one you, you have to you have to keep. But you can delete one of them. Because this foundation piece right here is supporting this roof piece all the way to the middle. And then these two are supported by this one. So that means I could delete the wall for that as well uh, you can delete the wall for this side as well if you wanted to now if you want to do something where like this big bridge the first thing you have to do is make sure you can build the entire way through the canyon or whatever formation or piece of land you're working with you want to make sure you can build foundation the entire way across okay because if you don't you're gonna run into trouble with the stairs to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build a bridge from about here over there. Good night. Build a bridge from here all the way over there. Okay, let's start. I chose this specific area first off because while there is a gap, I'm pretty sure I can build a foundation into this wall right here. Yeah. And now this will be a little tricky because of how the terrain slopes down here. So what I need to do is build the first foundational piece a bit higher. Now, if you do not have these foundation pieces connected the entire way, what's gonna happen is, say you have a foundation like this, 
then you're actually for some whatever reason you're not able to connect that right this piece will not count as support for whatever is above okay because it's it's not connected it's not going to count continuity is key for making sure that you're continually being supported up there so the main thing here is i have to make sure that i'm able to get as close to the wall as possible with my foundation i mean maybe i could go that way let's see how high i can build this oh sh That might be close enough, actually. That might be close enough. I can put one more for good measure. I might be able to get stairs on that. Okay. Oh, it's... This isn't gonna work. Two hours later. Next, what you'll need to do is... Whichever side of the, the foundation that you can get closer to the wall, you want to build up from there. Oh, I don't know if this is enough. I'm not even close, huh? Damn. I'll see. And you want to do this because it's going to take less quote-unquote support to actually touch the ground. Actually, I might be able to get, get there. Yep. Oh, look at that, so close. All right. We're restarting. We're close, we just need, um, we need to move this foundation a little bit closer to the wall. Needs to be like right here, if we can get that. If that's possible, I don't know. Let's find out. That's too high. That is also too high, damn. Oh, wait, hold on. What do you mean? Okay, maybe this will do it. That's about the same, isn't it? Now we're a little bit closer, huh? Okay. So I have a foundation piece here. So we build back up. I'm just putting multiple here so I can see which one will actually work which height will work i mean okay no we'll go for this one and honestly the hardest part is done this is indeed the single hardest part of of building the this thing is finding which height will work and finding the where you can place your foundations at. Should be able to from here. Yep, we're good. Look at that. Now we can delete those. And now we have built a bridge across this entire valley. One thing we can do is cut these freaking trees down. With one row of foundation at the bottom, as we learned earlier, you can use that to build two out, right? So you can build these bridges three wide with one one row foundation at the bottom besides this. If you want to build extra stairs at the ends, you'll have to add two um, foundations on the, the edges. Okay. So when you get to this part after you, if you decide to build extra width to this, when you get to the edge, what you'll have to do, uh oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, so uh, in this specific situation, I cannot accomplish it. However, if you wanted to build three out with stairs on both sides or ramps or whatever, you would have to build additional foundations 
at the end points like that because what happens is this foundation right here at the end inside the wall so that foundation that foundation is right here right and like we learned earlier it can support all the way out here but only one diagonally so it's only able to support this piece and this piece right so i can't i can't build any stairs right here so if i want to build an extra row of stairs i need a foundation right here for this stair and then right here for this stair currently the last foundation underneath is right here and that is only able to support one diagonally on each corner usually this is the part where people will try to lay a foundation down and, and line it up or this is where you can do that if you wanted to and that's basically it i hope i was able to teach you a little bit about the structural support system in power world if you didn't understand it already it's not super complicated to understand and once you do understand it you can use it to build bigger and better bases the background footage you're seeing now is from the full build of the bridge i showed earlier at the beginning i will be posting that um i would just have i just have to edit it a little bit and voice over that let me know what you guys think down below thank you all for the support it's absolutely incredible also the boss said that you need to like and subscribe anyways peace love your friends and the eiffel tower can be taller during summer okay bye